Hi friends! Welcome to N Questions You Should Know Part 2. Let's start the review. Question number 1. With the recent Matatag Agenda, what are the priority strategies of making the curriculum relevant, produce competent, job-ready, active, and responsible citizens? 1. Strengthen inclusive education programs including the Alternative Learning System, Last Mile Schools, and programs for IP learners and learners with disabilities. 2. Strengthen literacy and numeracy programs. 3. Review the implementation of the mother tongue-based multilingual policy. 4. Reduce the number of learning areas to focus on foundational skills. And 5. Improve English proficiency while recognizing linguistic diversity. A. 1, 2, 3, and 4. B. 1, 2, 3, and 5. C. 1, 2, 4, and 5. And D. 2, 3, 4, and 5. What is your answer? The answer is letter D, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Number 1 is not conclude is not included. Because all of these focus on making the curriculum relevant, is competent, job ready, active and responsible citizens. Number 2. Which are following which among the following is the priority strategies of taking good care of learners by promoting learner well-being, inclusive education, and a positive learning environment of the Matatag Agenda? 1. Seek out mental wellness experts to form interventions at the school level. 2. Involve parents and guardians in the education of children. 3. Eradicate illiteracy through relevant policy issuances and community literacy program interventions. 4. Provide assessment assistive mechanisms to students with disabilities. And 5. Provide e-classroom packages for teaching and learning. A. 1, 2, 3, and 4. B. 1, 2, 3, and 5. C. 1, 2, 4, and 5. And D. 2, 3, 4, and 5. What is your answer? The answer is letter A, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Number 5 is not included because that is not part of taking good care of learners by promoting well-being, inclusive education, and a positive learning environment. Next number. In the Philippine Development Plan or the PDP 2023-2028 to Subchapter 2.2, Improve education and lifelong learning. By 2028, Filipinos are envisioned to be smart and innovative with learning poverty substantially addressed. Filipino learners have access to high-quality lifelong learning opportunities that develop adequate competencies and character qualities which will allow them to thrive in society and the world of work. Transformative lifelong learning opportunities shall be instrumental in developing and protecting the capabilities of families to ensure that all Filipinos are able to realize their full potential to keep pace with the envisioned socio-economic transformation. These are 1. Develop and protect capabilities of individuals and families 2. Promote human and social development 3. Promote and develop social justice 4. Transformative lifelong learning opportunities for all insured. A. Statements 1, 2, 3, and 4. B. Statements 1, 2, and 4 only. C. Statements 1, 2, 3, and 4. And D. Statements 1, 3, and 4. What is your answer? The answer is letter B. Statements 1, 2, and 4 only.
Let's proceed with number four. The school infrastructure and facilities project will prioritize interventions enabling DepEd to construct and rehabilitate classrooms, build blank schools, retrofit, retrofit classrooms, and provide electrification and connectivity programs. A. Climate change ready. B. Environment friendly. C. Equitable and efficient. And D. Disaster resilient. What is your answer? The answer is letter D. Disaster resilient. Let's proceed to question number five. The town of Matuain was struck by a disastrous typhoon that displaced families. The use of schools as evacuation centers for families and individuals is guided by Republic Act 10821 or the Children's Emergency Relief and Protection Act. Hence, LGUs shall coordinate with the school heads and respective SDS before schools may be used as temporary evacuation center. Which of the statement should be followed by order of occupancy? A. Gymnasium and other open spaces, then classroom. B. Gymnasium, then classroom. C. Gymnasium, learning activity center, auditorium, and other open spaces, then classroom. D. Classroom, learning activity center, auditorium, and other open spaces. What is your answer? The answer is letter C, gymnasium, learning activity center, auditorium, and other open spaces, then classroom. Number six, as per DEPED order number 36, series of 2022, protocols and guidelines on the submission, receipt, and processing of requests, Related to the school building program, the request for school buildings and other school facilities improvement projects shall be based on the following priorities except A. Replacement of old and dilapidated structures B. Replacement of or repair of calamity damaged structures C. Classroom needs due to increase in enrollment and D. Improvement of aesthetics purpose of the school periphery. What is your answer? The answer is letter D, improvement of aesthetics purposes of the school periphery. Well, this is an obvious answer because uh, A, B, and C are the most important things to be considered in the request for school building. Number 7. Who is not a member of the Child Protection Committee? A. PTA representative B. Student representative C. Teacher representative and D. DSWD representative What is your answer? The answer is letter D. DSWD representative Number 8. The SPTA that is duly recognized by the school shall enjoy certain privileges. Which of the following is not included among these privileges? A. Representation in the school governing council. B. Authorization to undertake fundraising activities. C. Participation in the procurement activities as back member. D. Use of available space within the school premises as its office. What is your answer? The answer is letter C. Participation in the procurement activities as back member. The SPTA is not allowed to be part of procurement activities in the school. Number 9. A case of bullying in one of your school's classes was reported. What is the first step that should be done as the school principal? A. Report to local police immediately. B. The parents or guardian of the victim and the offending child's parents 
shall be also informed and called for a meeting. C. The earring student should be reprimanded. D. The incident should be reported to DSWD. What is your answer? The answer is letter B. The parents or guardian of the victim and the offending child's parents shall also be informed and called for a meeting. And of course, number 10, last number. Riganda Escuela is composed of the following committees except A. Advocacy and Marketing Committee B. Audit Committee C. Resource Mobilization Committee and D. Program Implementation Committee What is your answer? The answer is B. Audit Committee That's all for End Questions Part 2 for you to know more about NQuest and uh, review content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Aris Barago Blogs. Thank you.